Oh, what's this? Oh, you've been working on this. I saw this just a couple of days ago and it did not look anything like this. Probably true. This is called the uh, Winter Habitat. A Winter Cold Habitat. Cold frame. We dug out the trench here, <clears throat> filled it up with uh, layers of grass and compost. Mm. Like making sandwich, lasagna. Okay. And delicious lasagna. First we had a nice layer of leaves and brush. Uh -huh. And then we had a delightful covering of compost, and then okay. we scattered on another nice layering of straw and, and fibrous types of stuff, and okay. another big sl rich slathering of compost. Yum! <laughs> and then one more bit of uh, random greenery and vegetation covered with compost, and then we put all this layer of topsoil on, which is about that thick. Okay, okay. drop it right there. Uh, you just you're barely even going to the bottom of the topsoil. Everything else is pretty much it's all That's all about as deep as it needs to go, really. Uh -huh. The fermentation is going to happen right below here. Okay. And it'll what's, keep what's, ferm nice what's fermenting in there? Leaves and, and wood and uh, all kinds of, you know, s the, 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 the substrate, the leaves. I used, in this case, I used Siberian elm. Uh, See, that's the, an example of the vegetative okay. layer. All right. That's, and that's the vegetative layer I left on top. So uh, are that's there... kind of a seal. Are there fungus in here then, or are, they, are there... Nothing's in not, Well, there's fungus in here, but I haven't, like, inoculated one species or something. Okay. Yeah, I just used the active compost and the existing stuff. Again, our goal here was more about compost than about mushroom cultivation. Like the main this. thing with this is keeping it wet. The, that's the main challenge all winter because okay. this fermentation is heat and it releases that heat is like almost like steam, like yeah. a vapor yeah. that comes up and it keeps the plants warm and the plants also put out vapor. Mm -hmm. uh, basically the, the heat of fermentation goes, rises up, hits the glass yeah. here and freezes uh -huh. and is basically removed from the from the cycle. From the cycle. So it all dries up real fast. Uh -huh. You have to keep adding water to the mass. Okay. And the other thing is that, see the top layer and the fermenting layer form, a, there's, I've got that covering over water the in between yeah. them. So yeah. it's important to use a pipe or just to okay. jam a hose down through okay. the topsoil layer and into the bottom okay. in order to get that bottom good and wet because <clears throat> that's where it dries out. So this is a south facing deal and yeah, what we've got right looks like one. wood on the back here and we've got a uh, was there a what is that? That's it's some insulation in there. We've got a hard layer uh, of insulation. Yeah. So these these are all good good uh, cold frame yeah. units and I'm going to throw a seed in there uh -huh. so I'll have auric. The, the or the, the quinoa, basically, yeah. will be coming up as well. What are you harvesting there? Quinoa, orc. Ah, so you just, oh, got it, got it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Quinoa's planted. <laughs> we like to work hard, <laughs> long hours, hard work. <laughs> so this we is like a salad, a, a salad a day, basically. How many people oh, like, gosh, yes. like four, four people I salad a day? Feeding four. In fact, I had two there because I thought I was gonna need more room, and I really didn't even use the second one. 